What up squad, Momoki is here, and today I'm introducing a new segment to the channel I'd like to call Gush or Crush. This is basically where I review games that I have played and I give my thoughts and opinions on them and see if I will gush about them or that I'll be crushed that I even loaded it up to begin with. Today's game I will be talking about will be Eichenfell. Eichenfell? I want to start by saying this game has no official pronunciation. Both the trailer for the game Rounds of Eichenfell and Ema's song Paint the Future have different pronunciations for the game. It kind of follows that Pokemon rule with the, the legendary Arceus or Arceus or Arceus where there's literally multiple canon pronunciations. I tend to flip flop between the two though. So Ikenfell comes to us from Humble Games, a small team that chills mostly in San Francisco with a shared passion for supporting indie developers who love to challenge the norm that we readily accept in video game culture to date. Ikenfell is a turn-based RPG game that also features timed hits. That's a feature I genuinely have not seen since Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars on SNES. The story starts off simple enough. Your sister never comes home for her break, so you take it upon yourself to go find her and see where she went. This ends off kicking up a series of events, twists and turns that literally send you and your new group of friends through hell and back, like legitimately. I will put a mild spoiler warning as some of the topics and characters I talk about may ruin some surprises in the game, but honestly I'm gonna do my best to contain myself so that you guys can play it for yourself. So first I want to start with how much I absolutely love the graphics. They are simplistic yet adorable and some of the characters literally made my heart swell. I also love the transition from the overworld type of view when you're traveling around into the actual battle itself. The turn-based style of fighting wasn't that hard to grasp. I mean I did get bodied a lot but that's because I feel like he's gonna have a second phase so we need to be ready for that. Oh my god and oops. No! Fuck me! I clicked it again. Oh, fuck me! I missed that last one. She's not gonna get that. Now to move out the way from all this punishment that's coming. No! Fuck me. Nails down. I'm not really good with strategy. While we're on the topic of battles, I loved how each and every character had something unique that they brought to the table, like their very own fighting style. Mari handled all the fire attacks, Gilda had all the lightning attacks, Nell handled their potions really well, mostly healing, Ima with all the Zir painted attacks, and so on and so forth. Honestly, the challenge was only picking three of the characters to fight in the battle at a time and trying to find a winning combination depending on who or what you were fighting. Not gonna lie, at the start of the game, it was kind of hard and a little slow paced, but the more you got into it, the more characters you unlocked, the more powers you got, it made it easier. You didn't have to grind a lot either, which I consider that a win in my book. Honestly, the hardest part of the battling for me was the timed everything. The timed hits, the timed dodges, Hell, even the timed healing. At first I wasn't happy and there wasn't really a good prompt to let me know when to time my hits and when to time my blocks. But the more you get into it, the more practice you get fighting those smaller enemies. And once you get to the bosses, it's honestly not that bad. But there was a lot of times that I did get KO'd. Just battery, okay. Bah. Fuck! Damn it. Fuck! Second part of it. Yep, damn it. However, they have something called a clutch, and if you're lucky enough to get that perfect, that great, when you get hit just as you're losing the rest of your HP, you'll get that clutch and you'll stand right back up, and man, did that help me through some dark times. Damn, y'all just gonna keep targeting my chick? The good news is I got that great, she should come up. But the poison is still on her, yeah. Fuck me. I think what really brought it all together for me was the amazing music. Literally, I was starstruck when some of these boss battles had singing accompanying to them, singing and or rapping. This universe is split from the gravity of astrophysics. Books magically enhanced my vision. Reading happily despite our distance. There's something you've been missing. Gotta elevate the world from now. Is this Rook's song? Yes, it's, a, it's, it's their theme. I love their theme so much. And the music was beautiful. Every sort of tone fit. 
fit the theme of what was going on in the game perfectly. I literally downloaded the entire soundtrack to my Spotify, don't judge me. Honestly, the biggest thing for me that made me absolutely fall in love with this game was the representation. There was plenty, and I do mean plenty, of LGBTQIA plus representation in this game. That's what rose this game from a great game to a fantastic game. We have a few lesbian characters, we had some bi's, we had some non-binaries, a gender neutral character. Hell, one of the characters even hinted at being asexual. I loved how normal and natural it all was. It felt good to see LGBTQIA plus characters that weren't villains of a game, but instead the lead roles, the heroes. And I love that we had each and every character dealing with something deeper in their own right. I mean, we had two characters dealing with PTSD, some with depression, a full-blown anxiety attack on screen. Like, literally, I was amazed at how these fragile topics were handled really well and how real they were depicted. No one tried to make excuses or tell these characters to get over it. Instead, they were treated with love and support as it should be. Honestly, the lines these characters delivered and the way that they delivered them tend to hit home a lot of the times and I found myself needing to take a break from the game as it just hit me so hard. I was able to relate to almost each and every single character we met. Whether it's dealing with grief that still eats at you day to day, pushing people away in fear of being hurt, or crushing over an insanely adorable girl and being completely awkward over it. Honestly, this game was very well crafted. The story was amazing and paced really well. The characters are all unique in their own right. Every fight stressed me out. Every song was a bop. Petting the cat heals and saves your game. And overall, I can honestly say I gushed over this title. If you guys haven't played it yet, I strongly suggest giving it a try. It's free on Xbox Game Pass and it's only 20 bucks on Steam. Honestly, it's worth every penny. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please don't forget to subscribe. Also leave a like and a comment. Have you played Eichenfeld before? What are your thoughts on the game? Don't forget to check out my Twitch where I love playing games and hanging out with my squad. And until next time, stay awesome! i